but I'm gonna get me a big ass. I'm for real, cause science and medicine is a motherfucker nowadays. You know, they got a pill for any fucking thing you want. Do you realize that science and medicine has got together and created so much bullshit that we spend money in, on bullshit like Viagra and breast implants and we ignore important shit like Alzheimer's disease? Do you realize by the time we all get old, we gonna be walking around with big old titties and big old dicks and don't remember what to do with them? <laughs> I'm for real. I know a motherfucker bought some bootleg Viagra, everything swole up except his dick. <laughs> But you gotta remember one thing when you buy the medicine. All that shit has a side effect. All that shit has a side effect. And they try to sneak the side effects past you. You ever notice like on a commercial, they'll have you believing this sinus medicine is a bad motherfucker. Then right before the commercial go off, here come the motherfucking side effects. It go warning. This medicine will give you a headache, insomnia, and constant diarrhea. Now you got to decide whether you want to have a runny nose or a runny ass, which way you on it. <laughs> but I like that type of shit. I wish all, everything came with a fucking side effect label, especially men. I wish men had a motherfucking side effect label right on the side of your asses. That's the truth. Let a bitch know up front what your ass is all about. Let's say you in a club. You in a club, you chilling. He walk in, you looking good and he looking good. He checking you out, you checking him out. Right before he walk past, you see his motherfucking side effects. <laughs> Warning, this nigga is subject to run up your credit, fuck about two or three of your girlfriends, and has a tendency to whoop a bitch ass every now and then. What you gonna do? You know a bitch like me will go ahead and fuck with him anyway if the dick is good, you know what? <laughs> nigga might change, nigga might change. <laughs> but how about I had a dream that I was standing at the gates of heaven and got into a fight. Wasn't my fault they was fucking with me in line. Let me tell y'all how this shit happened. Oh, they was fucking with me, they was fucking with me. Now I'm standing in line at the gates of heaven Foxy Brown, the rapper, is standing in front of me. Monica Lewinsky is standing in back of me. So Foxy Brown gets up to the gate. She said, how you doing, St. Peter? She said, my name is Foxy Brown. I'm a rapper. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person. He said, Foxy Brown, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? She said, my hands. He said, go over there and rinse your hands out in the faucet, and you may enter the gates of heaven. Next, it was my turn. I went up to the gate, I said, how you doing, St. Peter? My name is Samora, I'm a stand-up comedian. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person. He said, Samora, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? Before I can say any fucking thing, Monica Lewinsky pushed me out the way and said, excuse me, but can I rinse my mouth out in the faucet before this bitch put her ass in the water? children unless I'm married. I'm for real, fuck that. A bitch might dress like a Power Ranger, but I need help. I ain't no strong motherfucker when it comes to being strong like that. Cause y'all women kill me when y'all be too motherfucking strong. Y'all be walking around talking, I don't need a man for shit. I pay my own bills, I buy, pay my own rent. I don't need a man for shit. But as soon as a man fuck you real good, you give him a key to all your shit, I know you. That, I need help from the gate. <laughs> I'm for real, and I see the reality of marriage. See, marriage to me is a lot different than other people see. See, marriage to me is a lot like going to an amusement park. You know how you go to an amusement park and you get inside and you're riding all the rides, just having yourself a real good time, just riding all the rides. Then all of a sudden you start walking around and you start seeing all these big, pretty, fluffy ass animals that you could win. So now you decide that you got to have your one. 
So now you play all the games that you have to play in order for you to get you one. Then you spin up all the money that you have to spin up in order for you to win you one. Finally, you got you one. Now you're walking around the fairground with this big pretty motherfucker and everybody see you. But after a while, you realize that you can't ride no more rides cause you got this big bitch with you. See, I just wanna ride all night long. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. I tried to look for a man. I go to all the celebrity parties and shit. The celebrity men, they don't fuck with me. Cause they know I'm just like Velcro. You fuck with me, you stuck with me. We ain't breaking up for shit. I'm a real, we ain't breaking up for shit. Cause I think I'm a smart motherfucker. I got good money management skills. There's some of them that can really use my help. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste their money. I know for one thing, like let's say Stevie Wonder. If Stevie Wonder was my husband, if Stevie Wonder was married to me, he wouldn't have but one fucking outfit. <laughs> what the fuck does he need with more than one outfit? I'll take him to the closet every day, let him feel all my shit and say, that's all your shit. That's all your shit. I'll tell him every day, you sharper than a motherfucker outfit. <laughs> That's why now, since I'm approaching 30, once I turn 30 years old, I ain't fucking no more men over 30. I'm not. I'm sick and tired of fucking niggas named Charlie and Greg and them and Bruce and Rufus. I wanna fuck some Hakeems, some Taquan, some Deshaun. I'm for real, I'm sick of men in dress socks trying to get the pussy he slipping and sliding finna bust your lip. with some Timberlands on that's gonna be all up in that ass, just riding it. <laughs> and now, since we talking about dicks, cause I wasn't gonna bring up dicks, but since y'all brought it up, <laughs> let, me let me ask y'all a question. Why is it that men with little dicks act like they don't know they got little dicks? <laughs> Like the dick just got small on the way to your house. Nigga, you knew this dick was on the phone. It was on the phone. I blame women. I blame women for men with little dicks walking around thinking they got big dicks. Y'all just need to tell them the truth. Shut them down. I for real, I had a guy come to me one day talking about some more, you know, Will, what's your favorite position? I said, well, it depends on the size of the dick, because if you got a little dick, my favorite position is with another motherfucker. I ain't got time to be bullshitting. Balls all big, dick hiding behind the ball. No! Some bullshit. I'm for real, dick is a beautiful thing. Oh, y'all don't know dick like I know dick. Do you realize that if a man is fucking you right, you can spot his ass at the Million Man March? Good evening. Oh, dick is a beautiful thing. Especially if you fuck around and get you some good dick. And you don't know good dick like I know good dick. You know how you can tell if you got a man with some good dick when you let him drive your car and you know he ain't got no license. to my sisters, just don't get digmatized. You ever just see somebody that's digmatized? That's when the dick is just too good that they can't see the reality of some shit. Oh, no, 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 people that's digmatized be saying stupid shit like this. No, 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 he don't be fighting me. I'll be like walking into the punches and shit. No, 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 no,
girl, I be like walking right into the pussy. Then that's digmatized. <laughs> well, why you always gotta be talking about dicks? Why you always, you know why I always talk about dicks? Because I believe, especially in the United States, women, we are exploited. We are. I don't give a shit which movie you wanna see, Pocahontas or Die Hard 3, you're always willing to see a woman in any movie that's willing to show her pussy and her titties. I think they should start making men show their dicks. That's right. From now on, if I pay my money, I want to see if Wesley is Nestle, all right? Damn it, for 650, damn it, Denzel better swell, okay? As a matter of fact, I think we should just lock all the doors and make all the men in here just pull their dicks out. Now look at the men with little dicks. They sitting there like, now this bitch ain't funny, what the damn? Shit, some dumb shit. But you know it's one big dick country motherfucker sitting way in the top like this. Lock the door. Lock the motherfucking door. Cause ladies, it's the new millennium and I don't know about y'all, but this how I feel. Fuck your bling bling, nigga. Can you swing sling? That's a lot of shit. We do. We go through a lot of shit. But the amazing thing about us ladies, we have the ability to bounce back because we made like that. That's right. We have a certain... Ladies, let me tell y'all something. We have a certain rhythm in us that we, no matter what we go through, we gonna be all right. And see, when we was little girls, your mother knew that you had that certain rhythm in you. In you. So when you was about eight years old, she gave you one essential toy. She knew that with this toy, you would get a swivel in your hips and an attitude to match. Ladies, when you was about eight years old, your mother put you outside on the front porch and she gave you a hula hoop. You didn't quite understand why she insisted that you learn how to do the hula hoop. You got outside with the hula hoop rocking around your waist. And at first it was a little bit difficult for you but you kept on trying. <laughs> After a while, when you got it rocking to your own certain pattern, it made a certain sound that says shh, 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 shh. And when you heard that sound, you knew you was the shit. So I say to my sisters here tonight in Memphis, the next time that you have to remind him of just who you are, the next time that he forget just your powers, the next time that you gotta put it down on him, the next time that you up on top and you riding him real good, you riding him so good that his toes is curling up, his eyes is rolling up in the back of his head, you riding his dick so good that he can't even close his mouth. I want y'all to do me one favor. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror, wink one eye at yourself, and just say, shh, shh. Y'all, my name is Samoa. Y'all been wonderful. Thank y'all for coming out.